to right here. Today we got a cooking episode. <clears throat> About to make me some pasta. So in this pan I got bacon all chopped up. Put a couple glugs of olive oil, like glug, glug. That's some garlic. Got more garlic here. I chopped the ends off. And then I use a big knife. Crush it. And then you can peel it real easy. Not with one hand, but you got a skin right there. Easy peasy. Bam. And with the bacon. I'll show you again. Just use your knife. Give it a little crush. Sometimes it smashes up the garlic more than others, but the skin comes right off and leaves you that yum yum. I do all these up the same way, crush them, peel them, put them in there, and I'll come back and show you the next step. Alright, we're back. So, all the garlic's in the, pot, the pan. Got some black pepper, oregano, sage, salt. Just gonna, you know, season it up a bit. Don't have to go too wild on this. I mean, whatever you like, really. I like sage a lot. But I'm almost out. Need to go get more. Or send my loyal wife. Mm. Sage smells good. And uh, I'll do just a little bit of salt because the bacon is already pretty salty, so you don't need too much. Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to fry this up on high heat. And keep it moving. If you want your bacon to get real crispy before we go to the next step. I'm going to pause the camera for a minute. This is going to take a while. I'll come back in a little bit and show you guys. Uh, I got, like I said, I got on high heat to see if we're going now. Using my wok, tiny style. It's easier than stirring it really, because I can do it one handed more easily. Yeah. That's how you do it in China. Got the big old flame. And you can like pop it in the pot. I mean, you don't have to do that, whatever. You can just stir it, but it's not done yet. It's going to be a long time. Alright, so I got some tomatoes. They're still frying, starting to get crispy. Uh, I'm trying to heat down a little bit. It's, it's too much. You've got grease flying everywhere. In fact, I'm going to cover it up because I don't want to get burnt. So what I'm going to do real quick is just take the tops off these tomatoes because they're pretty ripe. And then we're going to come over here, pop them in my blender, and just blend them up. So I'm going to do that off the camera real quick because it'll be faster if I do it with two hands. I'm going to like uh, put some cuts. Oh man, there's not enough light. Can you see that? Just cutting these before I run them in the blender so they blend up more easily. Oh, Stop them. Murdered them. Okay, that's probably good enough. Just pop the top on here. This is not going to work immediately. Actually, I'm not even going to try it like this. I'm going to add some water real quick. Alright, 
so blender, tomatoes, water. Let's do this. So let's go and let's come over here. Check on these guys. Try burning. Oh yeah, it's over wrong. So it's nice and crispy. It's almost there. A couple more minutes. So once that's like super crispy, we're going to pop the lid, add all this tomato puree, bring it to a simmer, and then put on water to cook the pasta. Bring it to a boil, really, and then simmer it while uh, the pasta is going down. Let's take another look. I'm gonna give it a stir with the spatula because some of the bacon's not evenly fried, it looks like. Oh, yeah, okay. In case you can't tell, I love garlic. It's gonna be so good. So, come and take the tomato. Oh no, it's not blended up enough. Drat. Deceived. Actually, you know what? That's fine. It doesn't have to be completely blended up. Those chunks will uh, cook down. So, we're just going to pour it in. Smash these up as best as possible. Bring the heat back up. Come on, get it going. Now, right now, this looks gross, but when it cooks down a bit, it's going to make a nice red sauce. So I'm going to cover this until it boils, and then uh, we're going to simmer it for a while. In the meantime, I'm going to get a pot of water started for the pasta. Alright, so this is boiling now. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit until it's at like a pretty low, just enough to keep the bubbles barely going. Over here I got water starting to boil to do the pasta. Going, oops, sorry. Going to salt the water a bit. And trying to stir this to keep anything from burning to the bottom. The crispier the bacon, the better, because, or, if you, really the best thing to do would have been, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I didn't do this, because, I didn't, I should have started cooking earlier, but anyway, is, uh, after you fry the bacon and the garlic, take it out of the pot, put it in a little bowl. Then do the tomatoes with the oil and the seasonings from the bacon and garlic. Cook it down, and then once it's cooked down, add the bacon back in, because the longer the bacon's boiling in this water, the, the soggier it's going to get. If you get it real crispy first, it'll probably stay pretty crispy, but uh, 
you put it in at the very end, it'll be super crispy. So, I guess if you like soggy bacon or you don't mind that, then, you know, whatever. But, if you want the bacon to be crispy at the end, it's better to remove it and then uh, put it back in when the sauce is almost ready. So, this is a... Uh, Actually, kind of not hot enough for me. I want this to go pretty quick here. I'm gonna raise the heat. You can have it hotter if you're gonna stand here and stir it, because then it won't burn. But if you plan on stepping away for a while, you just leave it on a low simmer for, I don't know, however long it takes to cook down. 20 minutes, something like that. Honestly, the pasta is probably gonna be ready before the sauce is ready. Alright, well we're going to go back on pause for a little bit. I'll come back when the sauce is almost done. Alright, <clears throat> I'm back and I got the water boiling. Camera freaking out because of the steam. Sauce boiling, it's starting to get there. going to use some penne for this. It's uh, going to take, what, 11 minutes to cook. So I'm going to pop that in the water and keep this sauce going for at least another 11 minutes. Alright, so the sauce is pretty much done. It's cooked down. Pasta still needs a couple minutes. And uh, I'm just going to end the how-to segment here because all that's left to do is drain the pasta add it to the sauce. So next I'm just going to show you the finished product on my plate. Alright, <clears throat> here we go. That's the final product. Sprinkled a little... I sprinkled a little cheese on top. If I could speak. Let's see what it tastes like. It looks pretty hot. I'm about to burn my tongue. Mmm. That's good. Probably could have put a little more salt, but it's good. Alright, well that's how I do my simple bacon garlic pasta. Hope you make it and that you enjoy it. Because it's good. Thanks for watching.